This is a one moment intercam monitor from the Hike Vision, but um, this time running a modified Android OS. And here today, I'm going to find out and explain how does this move change the way we work with the system. I will put it to test and tell you of its main features. And then you can get it along with other intercom parts on the People System Store delivered across UK, Europe, and many other countries. My name is Daniel, new Hike Vision Android based intercom monitor. And we begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. So, first things first, the killer feature of this new KH series new high vision monitors is that they are based on a mobile Android OS. And due to this fact, you've got here kind of a built in High Connect app. Well, like the one that you have on your phone, well, to work with the High Vision appliance. You have it here on the screen. It shows up when you press this circle button and it unfolds as if it was a common widget. And this opens a number of opportunities. And beyond that, Hike Connect is built into the OS itself, which is a modified Android. And I suppose, well, this is what let Hike Vision make it happen. So you can see, I've got a network camera in here, I can assess its settings, I can view the live stream for it right away on the screen, hold up, and I can even arm or disarm the alarm system, and then I can close it up. The questions are, how do we benefit from this move? And does it change the way we work with the system? Yes, in a good way. And due to this fact, we are able to replace many other communication devices with just a single phone monitor of a KH9 series. Um, the list includes the alarm system control panel like this one and the keypads for them, the intercom headsets and even other third-party home automation control devices. I mean, yes, it isn't a novelty indeed, well, for smart home appliance manufacturers like a Google Nest and Simply Safe and many others, but for video surveillance mainly manufacturer, it is something new, right? It makes us able to view all of our network cameras in the live mode right straight on this monitor right here. The same goes for video intercoms, view cameras through a video recorder and even access the playback and view the videos recorded either on microSD or a hard drive. With this update, now you can actually control the alarm system straight from this monitor. And let me show you that. Concerning the activation and the initial setup, well, as simple as it was with the uh, previous generation, one twisted pair cable and, uh, for network and 12 volt PSU for power, or it could be just a single twisted pair both for network and power due to the POV feature. And now, during the device startup, you see a glowing Android encryption. But when you're in, it is almost the same as the previous 8 series, but now you have the circle button. And what's awesome is that adding devices to this monitor is incredibly simple. All you have to do is just add your devices to the High Connect app on your phone like the regular way you do, where you scan a QR code or add in it by the AP address and then log into your High Connect account on the monitor. And that's it. Look what I've got in here. I've got a the alarm system, the High Vision Axiom Hub and the sensors and yeah. You know what is it? Next, I, I have a, a channel video recorder, a smart video recorder, and I intelligent, and I've got a few cameras on it right here online. You can see it, and I got a camera direct connection. This uh, my favorite cube for megapixel camera. Here it is. Let me just show you guys online, and also at the same time, I've got here the main door station of the series. There we go. Hello. And I'm gonna open the door. The door is open. Just to prove you that's happening real time. Next feature Android OS brought here is that we can install third party apps right on this monitor. So we go into settings, the last item, get the admin password in here, log in. And here on the last item, you can install two Android applications. Only two are supported at the moment, but honestly, I couldn't get it to work. Trust me, I've tried. I was able to download apps in here, but it never passed the installation stage. I suppose this will change with a firmware update. And actually keep in mind that all storage you have here is limited by one gigabyte, and you cannot increase this number with a memory card. Even though there, there is a memory card slot in here, 
but it's empty inside and imagine how did I figure this out. So basically this is the Android tablet mixed with a high question firmware and security features. Yes, this is both an Android tablet and a video intercom monitor at one. The Android basis is novelty but there's all other common high question qualities left and there is nothing new regarding other characteristics. Um, here's your classic port set on the rear part. 12 volt power in terminal, the alarm terminals, RS485 or relay interface, the back port and yes, micro USB input here for the first time ever, tamper, LAN network in with power over Ethernet support and the loudspeaker here and the micro SD card input here. Well, faked micro SD input. On the front, the 7 inch touch screen with Finally, a nice responsiveness, touch key button to instantly open the door, and the microphone here. The entire construction is made from a pretty solid plastic and feels really good. In the comment section, please request what else would you like to uh, know about this uh, new high vision Android based monitor, intercom monitor. Um, I'm going to pick the most frequently asked ones and answer them in the upcoming video. Like this new Hike Vision Android based intercom monitor? Well, get it on the People System Store following this link or the one in the description. Shipping over UK, Europe, and many other countries. And thank you for watching.